episode of uh, Park Bench. I am your host, uh, Steve Hamm. I'm also a realtor with Remax Applied Realty here in Sandusky, Ohio. Uh, I will talk about how to uh, get a hold of me or how you become part of the Park Bench uh, interview uh, series uh, at the end of this interview. But uh, today, I have with me Jessica Mercer of Mercer Images and her friend Ashley, uh, who will uh, uh, input some stuff as we go on, maybe have some comments, uh, uh, whatever. Uh, uh, Jessica has to say, so feel free to, to uh, you know, input it or, you know, speak up whenever you feel like it. Um, so, uh, Jessica, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about yourself and where you grew up and uh, a little bit about childhood and stuff. I'm Jessica Mercer. I'm 34 years old. I grew up in actually Youngstown, Ohio. Okay. It's about two and a half hours towards Pittsburgh. Okay. Um, yeah. I moved here five years ago, almost, yeah, four and a half years ago. Okay. I grew up there, my parents are, they still live there. Okay. It was a pretty normal child, they played basketball. Went to Boardman High School, been out of high school, had my children, um, got married, I moved to New Mexico for a couple of years. Okay. Moved back home, decided to start over, come to Sandusky, mm -hmm. and I fell in love with Sandusky. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it is an interesting, unique town. We'll get into that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. So, um, before I go any further, though, uh, for those, just don't want to mention this too. So, the reason why I, I kind of know Jessica right now and invite her to become a part of this is that uh, so she also works for uh, or with or partial or eye clinic mm -hmm. as well um, with a uh, Dr. Uh, Goudini. So, essentially, with me, what happened is that uh, last November uh, I had a, an eye injury. Uh, end up being a couple of uh, retinal tears and a partial retinal detachment, uh, which grounded me from flying for EMS for a, a, a while. And uh, I had to have surgery, and uh, it, the, the process took a lot longer to recover than uh, the company was willing to wait for me to come back. So unfortunately, uh, they had to let me go, and uh, I couldn't fly anymore, but I had a real estate license, so I said, let me pursue real estate instead. So that's kind of how I, I know about Jessica. She is one of the uh, assistants for Dr. Goudini when I go for my uh, eye visits and uh, we had a discussion during my last appointment and I uh, kind of mentioned I was a realtor now and she was like oh really and uh, she may be in the market to, to buy a, a home here in a few months which is kind of cool works in my favor but at the same time I told her you know I had this thing called Park Bench I interview you know uh, cool amazing you know, small business owners and such and she happens to have a photography business and I was like well I'll be more happy to have you and talk to you about it she goes okay and so here we are so that's that. Uh, that's my little uh, vulnerability moment for you guys. What happened with me? So, um, yeah. Okay. Um, so, how did you get into photography? Photography has been a hobby of mine for a really, really long time. Okay. But it was just a hobby. It was something I did for fun. Mm -hmm. Took pictures of my friends or family members, and I would edit them and just post them and have fun with it. Actually, this year was the first year I took my camera and went out for fun. Mm -hmm. It was complete fun. Mm -hmm. I went down to the Sandusky Pride this year. Okay. And my wife saw my pictures I was taking and she was like, you should make a little page and post them so mm -hmm. everyone can see them because I was taking pictures of the crowd and different performers and stuff like that. And I said, okay, mm -hmm. I'll see what happens. Yeah. I didn't think anything was mm -hmm. going to happen. And it kind of just blew up, blew up overnight. Really? <laughs> Everybody wow. loved them. And did you do anything special with the pictures, or? I would just edit them. Okay. In like an art, I edit more like an artistic way, I think. Okay. So, I really take my time with my editing. That's. That, that is important, yeah. Like my, it's my art. Okay. So I take my time with my editing yeah. and make sure every picture comes out to express that person. So what specifically do you do? Can I ask that, or is it kind of a secret, or? Um, it's not really okay. a secret. I have a few different softwares I use. Okay. Um, it's. I don't, some people I believe like over edit a little bit. Okay. I kind of try to keep the integrity of sure. the person in the picture. Yeah. I don't like airbrush everything okay. and all that. Yeah. But I just maybe mess with the color a little bit or the scene or the setting and yeah. just put okay. my vision on it. Okay. What it could be. All right. And just below from there, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So what kind of. What kind of camera and stuff do you use? Anything special? I mean, no. you just use your phone or is it actually like a like a? No, I have camera? a Canon. Oh, okay. Camera, so. Okay. 
Can I ask what model it is? The or? Canon Rebel T7. Okay. That's what I use. And my favorite lens is the 75 to 300 millimeter lens. And why is that? It's just, it has so I'm, many I'm, different depths. I'm not a camera depths. expert, so I'm just trying to understand this. It has so many different depths. Like, I can be far away, but still get something, like, so close up okay. that it looks like I'm sitting yeah. close to you. Kind of like a telephoto lens mm -hmm. or something like that? Okay. Wow. Interesting. Okay, so uh, you do uh, you offer uh, photo shoots to, to people on any budget. Now, what kind of photo shoots do you do specialize in? Right now, um, I was pretty much advertising any type of photo shoot. Okay. If you want, if you had a cool idea, yeah. get a hold of me and we can make it happen. Um, right now, I'm booking a lot of senior pictures. Senior pictures, it's senior picture season, so. I, yeah, it definitely, has, it definitely <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah. So I have all my seniors fill out a little questionnaire and I build a shoot based on their personality. So if okay. you like an arcade, we're going to go run around Cedar Point or an arcade for the day. I don't know. And let you just do whatever you want and I'm going to get some cool shots of you doing it. Yeah. So. Huh. Mm -hmm. Now you said you also do uh, like wedding packages as well? Yep, mm -hmm. I'm just starting breaking into like the wedding industry. Okay. I'm pairing up with a DJ, AZ Entertainment. Okay. Um, he's already like based in the wedding industry. Okay. So I did a couple weddings with him mm -hmm. recently. Mm -hmm. We love working together. Okay. So we're going to be putting packages together. Oh, okay. So that's, that's if important. you book him, you yeah. can get me. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Package deal. There you go. Yeah. Photos and DJ. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um, now you do branding as well and business photography currently. Yeah. How's that working for you? So, a lot of my friends own businesses. Okay. So, I like to go in with my camera yeah. and take pictures of you doing what you love to do. Oh. And then you can use that as advertisement yeah. on your website or your Facebook. Okay. And yeah. I might have to talk to you more a little about that after this mm -hmm. thing. Because <laughs> I think I can use some help with that as well. Um, <laughs> Yeah, because I get laughed at as a 50 year old guy trying to take uh, selfies and stuff. And that's why I usually just do them at work instead or when I'm out of the house. So no one's like, really? Seriously, are we doing this again? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, um, we got more of that. Why do you think, so why did you choose this profession of photography? It, it's something I love to do. Okay. I like to make people feel good. Yeah. I went through a time in my life where I was really down on myself and I didn't feel very good about myself. Why do you think that is? And if you don't mind me asking. I went through a time where I struggled with addiction. Okay. And for a long time in my life, and it really put a damper on my self-esteem. Sure. And I didn't see the beauty in anything. Oh, okay. And through my photography, I yeah. can find beauty in sure. anyone, in yeah. anything, in any place. Wow. That's very profound. I mean, it's mm -hmm. great that you were able to do that. I mean, some people find God and you found photography, so yeah. cool. <laughs> All right. Um, so what do you think some of your customers would say they love most about your business and what you do with, with your, your, pro your, your pictures? A lot of them have told me they like the, it's laid back. Okay. It's very laid back. Kind of like this interview. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it's very personalized. So, and I'm kind of a, go with the flow type of person. So okay. if a location's not working out, mm -hmm. or if I'm not feeling the vibe from the client, I'm like, mm, yeah. let's go downtown, or okay. let's change it up. Yeah, I'm very easygoing like that. That's good. Now do you like, when you, someone tries to hire you, do you try to like, talk to them ahead of time and, and kind of get to know them a little bit? And, Always. Yeah, just so you mm -hmm. kind of have an idea what the personality's like, and that'll kind of help prep you for what you need to do yep. when you actually meet up with them. Yeah, I remember going for a, uh, one of my more, more recent uh, uh, headshot sessions I went to with a girl in Cleveland, and uh, she wanted to know like what my wardrobe looked like and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I sent her pictures of the stuff I had, and she's like, okay, and she kind of had idea what she wanted to work with her. What look was I trying to go for as well? Because there was, you know, you can do packages of like three, four, or five, or even six, you can type of different personalities or professions per se, you know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, the thing is, if you do too much, then you're kind of overwhelming everybody with everything. So kind of keep down three or four, usually the, the, the thing that they try to tell you. And yeah, so I think I had like a, you know, casual bed, the doctor look, and all sort of kind of thing. So it was kind of cool. But I really admired the fact that she, you know, want, she was that in depth with me about it. Because mm -hmm. other times you're just like, well, just bring your wardrobe, we'll figure out when you get here. So it's kind of almost like impersonal at that point. No. But yeah. 
not to discredit the, the one guy that, that, that kind of works like that. He's still a great photographer that worked with him, but unfortunately, I think he's retired now. He moved down to Florida, but um, he was really good with me at first, too. Um, so what has surprised you the most about owning a business, being an entrepreneur? That it, it worked. I never thought I would own a business. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, I really never thought it would happen. I thought it was just like a little dream. Mm -hmm. I was always going to have to never work for myself, never build mm -hmm. something that I really believed in mm -hmm. or thought I could do. Yeah. And it seems to be working out so far. <laughs> you still feel scared about doing that? A little bit. Breaking out, yeah. I think slightly. Yeah. I think everybody has that little fear. Sure. Like, is it going to keep yeah. going well? Yeah. But I feel the same way with real estate, though, too. I mean, when mm -hmm. you first start out, you know, it's like, did I make the right choice, you know? And yeah. I get told, you know, that you're doing the right stuff, you know, it just takes time, be patient, you know, which, okay, I am. But everyone wants that, you know, okay, when's, when's stuff going to start really happening, you know? And you just never know when that moment's going to be. So, I mean, I'm glad when. When you texted me earlier today saying they were still on and that all of a sudden now your business has blown up. I'm like, that's awesome. You know, it's yeah. great. I mean, it's really cool. I mean, that's what I wish for everybody. So, cool. Um, so, what are some odd requests that you've had from clients for photos? Mm, I don't know if I've had any odd requests. I'm just really so glad I'm not actually a client. No, you're not a client. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because the ideas that I give this woman or woman is like not good ideas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But there are good ideas. They're just crazy. They're just crazy. Ideas. Well, that's kind of subjective, but for everyone who know this is uh, her friend Ashley as well. I got your name right now, just so you know. If I, if I remember it. Um, but why would you say it's it's crazy? My I oh yeah. God. <laughs> You're in this now, so I know. I should know about It's all right. No, I told you you could. No, so I have two little girls. Okay. Um and they love Aunt Jessie, so they obviously trust Aunt Jessie and Mommy with mm -hmm. everything. But the yeah. outfits that we have wanted to do, <laughs> we wanted to do a unicorn tea party, which sounds fantastic, but yeah. it's like, where do we find the unicorn to do it? But then that brings in Jessie's like, creativity side. Yeah. Um, and I love the idea for it, but like that's where I kind of go blank. And I'm like, hmm, I love this idea. But I don't know how to make this idea. Right. Yeah. So that's where Jessica sure. just like yeah. is amazing. She's like, oh no, we're gonna do it this way. Like she is the craftiest outside of photography, outside of like just that in general. She mm -hmm. is a creative, crafty human really? and that's can good. pull nothing yeah. out of or pull, pull something, something out of, out of absolutely yeah. nothing. Yeah. So just yeah. like my ideas, yeah. they give her good ideas for like when she does go on shoot, she's like, hmm. I stole this, <laughs> this, that, and the other, which is, I love that. I'm yeah. so proud of her and how far she's come in the short amount of time. Yeah. I've been with her since it, what, I was the hobby. Yeah. <laughs> she would take me and my kids and go place us in these areas. Oh, wow. and it was always so much fun. It was always an adventure. You didn't know what you were getting into, and yeah. it was just so fun for us to all go do as a family. Cool. Um, but now that it's, like, actually her profession, yeah. It's just, it's so weird that, like, I'm wearing this shirt right now, and, like, we're here even talking about Mercer Images, yeah. and it's yeah. just baffling. To, like, I'm just beyond proud. I'm yeah. more of a fangirl than, like, a person that should be talking right now. Well, so. as an entrepreneur, you need all your a good, close support and network, mm -hmm. you know, and, and friends, and you know, the fact that you've got a, you know, a cheerleader right behind you is awesome, you know, so kudos to you for doing that. We all, we all need them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, any kind of entrepreneur. I mean, some people probably need a little more than others, you know, but I'm not saying you do, but um, it's cool. I mean, it's great that you have a good support system, so cool. So what do you love most? Um, is, is anything else about the business you want to talk about that I may be skipping over that you want to mention? Um, I do advertise that I build photo shoots on any budget. Okay, so that was my, my kind of next thing. How much do you charge? My prices are listed on my website okay. as base prices. If someone can't afford those prices, mm -hmm. I believe everyone should have nice senior pictures. Sure. I believe everyone deserves nice pictures, mm -hmm. a nice wedding, anything. So if you have a certain budget, it's fine to text me and say, this is all I can afford. Mm -hmm. I can build a package okay. for any budget. Okay. 
That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think people like to hear that. Like, you know, why can't afford you? Then what, what do I do? Yeah, you know, especially so. in this economy, like groceries yeah. are so expensive. Yeah, I know. And yeah. kids that are playing sports yeah. and stuff like that, it's yeah. a lot for parents. It is. I have three kids. Like, yeah. I get it. Yeah. So. Being able to afford whatever you can, but then getting good qualities is yeah. hard to come by. So the fact that you can you know, offer that, that, that's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's probably another reason why your, your business is probably booming as much as it is because you're able to do that. You yeah. Know, so, which is, which is great. So, you've been in Sandusky for a little while. What is it about this town that, that, that surprises you, or should I say that, with all the recent improvements and stuff, what, what do you think about this town with everything going on? Oh. When I moved to Sandusky, <laughs> so funny story, okay. I moved to Sandusky actually to go to a treatment center here okay. in Sandusky. It was in Castalia. It was called the Women Halfway Home Foundation. It's no longer open. It was open briefly. Mm -hmm. um, and I was in Youngstown and they said, hey, we're going to send you to Sandusky for six months to a year for recovery. Mm -hmm. And I said, why are you sending me to Cedar Point? There's <laughs> yeah. nothing there but Cedar Point or Kalahari. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. So, sure. and I got up here, and I just saw like cornfields yeah. and yeah. nothing, yeah. and I was like, "What is going yeah. on? Where am I?" Yeah. And I went downtown to the Sandusky Artisans okay. for the first time, and downtown was just beautiful. Yeah, and I was like, "This is really nice," and the yeah. lake and just the atmosphere of downtown yeah and i remember my first year here was like i went to bike week i yeah. went to everything oh. sandusky had downtown okay. yeah and it was just amazing they always have something going on yeah yeah it's crazy and it's like it's just such a nice vibe here yeah. in this town it's it not is. like a scary city mm -hmm. it's not it's just like nice i love it <laughs> i try to Describe it as it's a uh, small town with big city amenities. That's, yes, that's, the, way I kind that's of, the perfect kind of, way to yeah, describe that's it. That's I describe it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, when I scroll through, you know, like LinkedIn sometimes, or I follow, you know, the Remax brand, you know, with their profiles, and uh, anytime they ask me to describe, you know, your your hometown that you're the town you're working in, I say, well, we're a small town nestled in between Toledo and Cleveland, but we're a small city with just big city amenities because yeah. you do, you got, you know, the 250, the main drag, that's got all the, the restaurants mm -hmm. and businesses there, which they're constantly putting new stuff up. I mean, heck, they're putting new Starbucks right there in the corner of, you know, uh, 250 and, and Perkins right that's now. That's a Starbucks? It's going to be a Starbucks. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. 99 cents sure it's a Starbucks. Mm -hmm. drive through I think, only, but I could be wrong. But yeah, it's going up. It's going up quick, too, obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, you already got one that's a little bit down the road already, you know, yes, right and that traffic there is crazy because it's such so congested, mm -hmm. but yeah, I think there's going to be a Starbucks going right there, so, you know, my stepdaughter's like, you can never have no Starbucks restaurants. I'm like, okay. So, <laughs> I mean, it's good coffee, I grant you, but to mm -hmm. me, I'm just like, I don't know if I want to pay that price for coffee, but, you know, once in a while, it's flourish, it's not a bad thing, but. Yeah, you got that. Um, Jackson Street Pier, the improvements mm -hmm. they make. I mean, it's a really ni good, nice place to go any time of day. You know, just I had my wedding at Jackson Street Pier. It was oh, beautiful. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, just nice, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, it just it looks nice and clean. A lot of restaurants, you know, and, and, and you know, bars and whatever down there. And, you know, it's just kind of cool to hang out there and walk down there. And you don't really feel like there's like a lot of crime going on and stuff. No. You know, it's, it's just it's just nice. So, mm -hmm. so I, I kind of like why I say that. So, cool. So what are some of your favorite places to go for restaurants to, to go? Now, you did mention that- Restaurants, yeah. one has to be Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, you talked about that. I didn't <laughs> know you knew that you work there. Yes, I do work there part-time. Okay. Just a couple nights a week. I've worked there for four years. Now, what do you do there? I'm a server and a bartender. Oh, okay. So. All right. Because that's one of my favorite places to go for steak. I haven't <laughs> yeah. been there in a while, but uh, maybe I'll have to figure out what, the, what days you work there and say, hey, I'm here. <laughs> I'm you know? here, yeah. yeah. I want, I want, uh, Want her to make my drink for me, you know? Yeah. So tell her it's me. Yeah, you can usually skip the wait if you just text me. So oh, oh, really? Yeah. Cool. I know that. I mean, you don't yeah. even have to place your own order either. She knows it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you definitely know. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same. Uh, I don't. Once I know what I like, I stick with it. I mm -hmm. don't go far from that. And I get rude by my wife all the time. She goes, "Try something new." I'm like, "The regulars mm -hmm. never really." I know. Do. I just <laughs> her. Uh, her uncle's kind of saying, he's like, I know what I like, and that's all there's to it. Don't try to take me out of it. Now, I will try new things once in a while, but 
I like my steak a certain way, you know. I like my, my mashed potatoes and my gravy and stuff. And just, <laughs> you know, yeah. like my vegetable or something, maybe, you know, and get a little nice little adult beverage in there, and now I'm good to go. Yeah, that's all you need. So now you, you said you had three jobs, you told me before this started. So you mm -hmm. work the photography. The photography, and, I yeah, work at Texas Roadhouse a few days else? a week, and at Far Shower. And, okay, that's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. How often do you work at Far Shower now? I'm only there when the retina doctors are there. Okay, with, okay. So I only work for Dr. Kujuni and Dr. Miller. Now, do you have to be certified to, to do that stuff in any kind of way? No. no they're all in-house trained. Oh. Mm -hmm. How do you like working there? At the I show? love it. Do you? It's very cool. Yeah. I am certified. I'm scribe um, certified. So, like, a scribe is when you go in with the doctor mm -hmm. and make how notes. you've seen during your yeah. appointments. I make all the notes yeah. for the doctor okay. and prep you and yeah. get you all ready for okay. her. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, when do you find time to sleep? Between my son's football and all my other kids, it's yeah. really hard, but... Huh. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think that at some point, maybe when the photography thing really takes off really, really well, that that'll be just like your, your main job only? That's my main that's, goal. That's your goal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I figured. Okay. My main goal to let everything else go eventually. Okay. <laughs> we talked about famous restaurants. So you mentioned here something about your absolute go-to is... Amores? Am I pronouncing that right? Amore downtown. Amor okay. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about Amore. It is adorable. <laughs> I love this place. Kind of explain it's, adorable. Have What's you ever been there? It's right by Subway downtown. So the Subway by the Value City Furniture downtown, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's a little Italian restaurant behind the Subway. Okay. And it's ran by a husband and wife. Okay. They're the only two people ever working there. Oh. We go all the time. So amazing. It's homemade Italian food. Okay. It's amazing. They just run it by themselves. Yes, she's the server yeah, and he's the cook. It's really. very fairly priced too. Yeah. Like it's for being so small really. and not a lot of people going in there. Like yeah. it's not like a Texas yeah. roadhouse or yeah, okay. you know. So people yeah. don't obviously don't know about it. Right. They live here. It's a yeah. very like very local, local, yeah. small business and it's oh but it's so fairly priced. The food is absolutely it's amazing. amazing. Wow. You go there, like if you want to go there and actually take your time and enjoy your meal mm -hmm. go there. for a nice long Italian yeah. dinner, that would be the place to go because they respect if you're having a conversation. Oh. Not that other places don't, right. you know what I mean, but yeah. for being such a small, cute yeah. establishment. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's only like six or seven tables yeah. in the whole restaurant. But it's so Are they trying cute. to keep it more low key to locals or did, did, did they like? One I'm not of, sure. Okay. We've never, we've, we've never, never asked, asked. Okay. and we've never assumed either. But yeah. every time that we do go in there, it's normally us. Yeah. Um, and then like one or two other tables. Okay. So I've yeah. only seen a most of it four okay. people, yeah. four tables, yeah. um, being taken at a time. So we don't know because it's literally the same ramp as Subway as well, and they don't have a big sign or anything outside mm -hmm. either. Huh. But they have a beautiful outdoor patio and yeah. and everything as well. So they're kind of a hidden gem. Yeah, <laughs> which yeah. is kind of like what I like to find doing this type of interview stuff. So I'm just wondering if they would be interested in, in being interviewed. Maybe. Maybe. Because if they want to keep it a little more hush hush, mm -hmm. then that's fine too. But. Mm -hmm. um, well, maybe the next time that, that you... So do you know the owners personally or no? No, we don't know from going in there. Okay. We're kind of regulars there yeah. at this All point, right. I would say. Well, next time you go in there, kind of like, let them ask them if they'd be interested in doing it, because I'd be more than happy to have them. I mean, I thought they would like to try it out. Okay. I mean, that's... Mm -hmm. I like Italian food. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like my, my main go-to almost, besides... I mean, I like pizza as well, so... But yeah. It does like pizza, <laughs> really, so... But yeah. Okay, good, cool. Yeah, I saw the written there, I'm like, what is this Amore? Now that I know how to pronounce it correctly, so thank you for that. Um, there's something else I gotta ask you. So, what are when you're not working and dealing with your kids? What do you like to do in your off time? What, what, what? Uh... Yeah, usually, I just hang out at home with okay. my wife. Okay. So you guys are home buddies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we have dogs. What kind of dogs you got? We have two German Shepherds. Okay. And we just we live on four acres, and we just really? go outside and let the oh. dogs run and yeah. enjoy. Outside. I got two American Bulldogs myself. Mm. One, the oldest one is eight. The youngest Aww. one is about 18 months. And uh, he likes to annoy the older one a lot because he, he's full of energy. <laughs> he likes to play. You know? yeah. So once I leave here, I usually around like between 3 30 and 4 if I can I go home. And you know, he kind of knows if I start grabbing with the plastic bags, he's like, oh, we're going for a walk soon. <laughs> and you got to pick up after him and stuff. And he looks forward to it. So, I mean, ever since I had my eye injury thing, because we got him probably. 
just before my eye injury happened. Mm. So once that happened, I was at home with him. So I pretty much have raised him since a pup, you mm. know. And uh, now apparently he's got some bad habits. Like he likes to lay on the couch a lot. And he's like, <laughs> Get him off the couch! I'm like, he's fine. No, I want him off the couch. So, but we also have a like a ring camera on, on like the on the, mm-hmm. the top of the steps, so she can like if she's at work, she can peek in and see what he's doing. And if I'm at home with him, he's on the couch. Why is he on the couch? You hear through the, the speaker <laughs> of the, the camera, I'm like, oh. like what are you talking about? I don't see him here. But no, it's kind of funny. That's cool. Two German shepherds. All right. Mm-hmm. They are German shepherds are, are nice dogs. How mm-hmm. old are they? The ones three and the other ones one. Okay. Oh wow. One. Yeah. Wow. Okay. They high energy or no? Yes. Yeah. Well, the one is not, but our other one is. She annoys okay. her sister. <laughs> She's not there yet. So, what are some uh, things going on with your business, either photography wise, that customers could shouldn't know right now? Any kind of special deals or anything going on or anything like that? Um, I'm doing family mini shoots right now for sixty dollars. So that's a new deal. It's running all through until the end of December. Okay. Um, and then next year, to look for announcements from me and AZ Entertainment for all of the weddings. So oh, okay. that's the new biggest thing. Yeah, also, uh, you know, if, if if he wants to be interviewed, I'm more than happy to do that as well, the, the, yeah. the DJ. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, just get people to get their name out there and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, and just more people get the community to get to know each other, which after this, I'll talk about a little more too. So, okay. Well, I asked what else you besides work, and obviously when you not working at home, so do you guys like like to watch movies and stuff at home? Yes. Like Netflix or mm-hmm. whatever. What's your favorite movie? I don't think we have a favorite movie. We're more into like America's Got Talent and The oh, Voice really? and oh, okay. <laughs> those type of shows. I used to watch America's Got Talent for a yeah. while, but then I kind of just went away from it. The Voice used to kind of intrigue me too, mm-hmm. but I kind of went away from that. I guess since they changed some of the, the judges, maybe I'm like not that I don't like the judges now, yeah. but. I just kind of got, I guess, a little tired of it. I like when they do the, the initial auditions, but after oh, that, then they, they kind of like, you know, and eh, whatever. But seeing, you know, that, that first time you hear that person sing and, you know, and how many judges react to it initially, you know, and some just all four like, oh, wow, the first few seconds, that's, that's an incredible voice, you know. I like that aha moment. I think that's kind of cool. So oh, yeah. people like this change right there in a matter of, you know, a couple mm-hmm. seconds. So, yeah. Um, so... You have any role models in your life that kind of like you look up to that kind of mold you to who you are today, like parents or? I'm my mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why is that? My mom had me very young. Okay. My mom had me when she was 17. She was a single mom for a long time. Okay. But and I guess we struggled. Like my mom never had a lot of money. Okay. But me and my little brother never knew it. Okay. Like she worked very hard. She was a server and a bartender okay. most of our life. Yeah. Because. They made really good money, and she was able to work when we were sleeping. Okay. So we never really knew mom was going on because okay. we'd have a babysitter that would sleep on the couch when we were sleeping. Oh, okay. And she showed me that even in the toughest times, you keep going. Mm-hmm. So no matter what, you take care of your family, and you keep going. Mm-hmm. And that's what I've always tried to do yeah. through everything. Sure. And. I had a rough start there for a little bit, but yeah. I picked up the pieces okay. and yeah. I kept going. It's the American dream right there. I mean, yeah. you've got to push through. Yeah. So what would be some advice you have? I asked this for everyone that's an entrepreneur, for people that are thinking about becoming one. What, what advice would you give them as far as where to start or, or their just, thoughts? Just do it. Just do it. Just jump in yeah. with both feet. Yeah. If you did, you have a plan? Uh, no, you did okay. <laughs> not at all. Okay. Kind of I was it. winging it yeah. from day one because I didn't think anything would happen. Yeah, I really was like, we'll see. My wife was like, this is a great idea. My ex husband even told me this was a great idea. Really? And I was like, okay, we'll see. But I'm gonna keep my day job. Yeah. And right. my other job. And yeah. You gotta pay the bills. Yeah. yeah. And it. It's been doing great. So awesome. if you have a dream, yeah. follow it. That right there, <laughs> that's that's a meme right there. Yeah. Sure. You gotta find the right background. I'm sure you can <laughs> yeah. figure that one out. Yeah. I'll find I'll one. Make one. There you go, there you go. Yeah, right. Wow. That's very profound. I agree with you. I tend to and my wife thinks about this for me too. So every morning I do like a, a good morning Facebook post and uh 
I just, I like being personable with people, you know, saying, hey, you know, good morning, you know, how's your day and stuff, and kind of tell people what I'm going to maybe be doing, not get too specific, but just kind of general. Mm -hmm. But then I put some kind of, I don't know what we call it, positive affirmation, but kind of like a, uh, uh, you know, something inspiring there for people to think about. And not just for other people, but it also helps me, too, to keep me kind of grounded and, like, in focus, because I am, I'm very focused on what I do, you know. I, I do keep a try to keep a positive attitude about everything that I can, um, which has worked fine for me because that way I keep up the negativity, I focus on what I do, and you know, I don't get all the internet trolls and stuff on me and stuff. Which, I, if I do find, I just ignore them anyway. But yeah. so every day I, I do a, a morning post, and then at night I do kind of like a good night post too, saying, Hope you had a great and productive day, you know, you know, have a good night, blah blah blah. And it gets some interaction, you know, not a ton, but you know, I've learned too from different people listening that. You know, don't make a post to try to see how many likes you can get or how many comments you can get. Mm -hmm. Just do it because it feels right or it's it's who you are, regardless of who it reaches. Because sometimes people will even see it and not like it or not respond, mm -hmm. but they still do like it. They just don't want to show that they do, which is fine. You know? So many people have been coming up to me at work. or Every, every time I go to work, mm -hmm. either fire shower or Texas Roadhouse, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, I saw this shoot you did. It was mm -hmm. great. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why? Like it. <laughs> like, well, just click the button. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's the thing. I think though, you know, we're in society now where mm -hmm. everyone wants that, you know, thumbs up. You know, yeah. if, it's, if it's not liked, you know, if you post a vacation photo or a trip, it's not liked, then it never happened. You mm -hmm. know, or someone didn't acknowledge it. You know, and maybe we kind of maybe need to get a little bit away from that. You yeah, know? it's reaching more people. Yeah, you just you just don't know how many mm -hmm. people it reaches. You know, and uh, I did a uh, I went to a uh, local builders association meeting not too long ago. Just to kind of you know network with with people in the home building business, you know, because that's kind of helps me as well. You know, if they know people are looking for homes to build, I can help them, you know, with with the, the selling for the buying process, or even selling for that matter. And uh, at the end of the, uh, the the meeting, you know, I walked around and gave my business card and I talked about Park Bench. They're like, I just saw something about Park Bench on, on Facebook just the other day and stuff. And they didn't, I don't know whether they read it, but they did see it. So, mm -hmm. and I usually post about Park Bench, you know, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays mornings, you know, first thing in the morning, because I'm early riser. And, uh, you know, it gets on the feeds and people are, are seeing, you know, and uh, it's kind of making making a little bit of traction. But uh, people are liking when, you know, the posts I make, if I post about an interview, they'll like it. And I'm just like, you know, well, if you liked it, and you know someone, you know, send them my way or something, you know, so. It's, it's a good thing. My manager thinks it's a good thing. You know, it's my little niche in, in the, uh, the real estate world, you know, of, of maybe, you know, helping people in the community learn about other, you know, people and their businesses and stuff and become more relatable. So um, that's kind of my little thing or try to be a different from all the other real estate agents, you know, so because I do generally care. So, but that's cool. I'm glad that uh, that does help you. So, um, Anything else I want to talk to you about here? So, what do you think the future holds for you? Hopefully, expanding my business mm -hmm. and being able to eventually hire people because right now it's just me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that puts a lot of pressure on it when mm -hmm. you're doing it by yourself and you're kind of like begging your wife and your kids mm -hmm. and your best friend to come help you <laughs> at random times yeah. for random things. Yeah. But is your wife pretty supportive in all this? Oh yeah, she's extremely supportive. Yeah, so that's the nice thing. And my kids are too. They come and help me and carry all my props around for oh, me and so stuff how old are your like kids? That. I have a twenty year old, okay. a oh. fourteen year old, and a ten year old. Wow. Yeah. Okay. They're pretty older. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just shocked to hear that. That's fine. I mean, that's cool. So is your older one gonna be going to college soon or are they in college? He's in college, he oh. goes to BGSU. Oh, okay. What's mm -hmm. he majoring? He's doing a graphic design. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, that's some good money in that too. Yeah. I uh, I recently, through this job, you know, trying to figure out with advertising using the, the Canva website. Yes, yeah. he does Canva yeah. all the time. And I was so intimidated by that because I didn't know how to do it. And then there's a, a girl who's on Linda Armstrong's team, Rosie, and uh, she uses it all the time. She's like really good at it. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said, just, you know, just go dive in, you know, and just try to figure stuff out. and. I just took one day on the weekend, like Saturday, like half day, and just forced myself to, to learn how to do it. Now, I'm not as creative as starting from a, from a blank slate and making something really creative, mm -hmm. but whatever they have already like done, and then I just kind of like modified it to mm -hmm. what I need. So, but then I learned how to do certain things. So then I go to YouTube, 
for learn how to make changes on Canva, you know, because there's anything. There's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, right? So that's where I learned to do my graphic design on Canvas through YouTube, mm -hmm. basically. But now, because I was wondering how these other real estate agents, they have these cool, you know, posts that they do, and how do they make that picture? Oh, it was Canva. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, really? And so I, I, you know, I bought the Pro Edition because I'm like, it's yeah, worth it. And you need it. You do, because the really good <laughs> yeah. stuff is on the Pro. Go figure, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and that's what I do. And I've gotten better at it. There's still a lot to learn. But, uh, yeah, graphic design, I spend probably about half my time with mm -hmm. marketing for myself, you know, trying to be creative and stuff. Now it's Halloween, you know, all these scary pics that come out, you know. It's like, don't be afraid, you know, of, of the, you know, buying a house, you know, with the, some kind of Halloween theme in there. Mm -hmm. And then I just usually add my own little flair in there somehow, like, I can help. And, you know, I mean, people see it, you know, if, if they don't like it, that's fine. You know, or they actually don't, don't hit the like button, it's fine. But just getting the message out there is what I try to do. You yeah. Know? If they see it often enough, it's going to start clicking eventually. So th that's the whole goal. And yeah, so <laughs> yeah, marketing is half my life along with trying to help buy and sell homes. So. so one last question, I guess, for you. Um, when your life is over, how do you want to be remembered? Probably as a good mom. Sure. Present person. Okay. In a nutshell, huh? Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ashley, anything you want to add? I say I still remember your name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you. Just one thing that I don't, and I don't know if you do this, but um, how are people supposed to find you? I was going to get to that next. Oh, yes, see? Next okay, that's yeah. all. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's good. <laughs> No, I think so yeah, uh, this is kind of your time. So how can people contact you? You know, websites, emails, phone numbers. Okay. Well, the easiest way is probably Mercer Images on Facebook. I'm also Mercer Images on Instagram. My email is Mercer Images, Mercer dot Images at four one nine at Gmail. Um, that's really it. Usually Facebook and. Mm -hmm. Everything my my link to my website and everything's on Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, that's helpful. Yeah. Yeah. And so, is there anything like special deals going on or anything right now? Just the sixty dollar mini is off okay. for December. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And you get like forty five minutes up to fifteen digital print oh. or digital copies. Okay. And then yeah. print release. Okay. So, any final thoughts for people? in the Sandusky area that you want to want to say is that they see you here now and got to know you a little better and any party words of wisdom for anyone? Mm -hmm. If not, that's fine too. I just thought I'd ask now. No, I don't know. Okay. Book with Mercer Images. Book with Mercer Images, <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely going to get with her a little bit after this because I can probably use help with my own marketing as well as for real estate. So, Well, thank you very much for coming here. I appreciate you thank stopping you. by and talking with me. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming with her and supporting her. Always. Appreciate it. So, um, talk a little bit about the whole park bench thing. Uh, to be part of the, uh, the web series, not web series, the uh, interview series, um, you go to uh, parkbench.com forward slash Sandusky. And basically, I, uh, I interview like small, cool, amazing uh, small business owners, community leaders, uh, industry professionals, and interesting people. I interview them and I, I post them on the site for free. And all I ask in return is that, you know, if you have any other real estate questions or if you know someone that's in the market to buy or sell, maybe you can kind of, you know, refer them my way and I'd be more than happy to help as well. So that's the only I guess, caveat I have for that. Um, but uh, I am a realtor with Remax Quality Realty, so uh, you can reach me at uh, stephen.ham with two M's uh, at remax.net. I'm more than happy to uh, help you out with, uh, you know, finding a home or selling your home. Uh, Remax has some great resources. Uh, along with my training and experience and the experience I have in the brokerage to help me out as well if necessary so but we can definitely get your home sold I can help you find a home and uh, find the right one at a good price and uh, make the process as, as easy as possible and, and fairly enjoyable as well so um, other than that uh, if you guys got nothing else I have nothing for you so uh, until the next time next uh, next interview take care keep a positive attitude and uh, you know keep reaching for your goals and, and never stop you know make make it happen Talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.